In this episode of 5-Minute Film School, we zoom in on focal length. Welcome to 5 Minute Film School, the show that teaches you to be a better filmmaker in 5 minutes or less. I'm your host, John Michael Booth, and today we're talking about focal length, and that means talking about lenses and what happens when you zoom. Focal length is the professional term for magnification, or zoom. If you increase the focal length of your lens, it means you are zooming in. If you decrease the focal length, you are zooming out. Zooming in is the optical equivalent of magnifying the entire picture. Focal length is related to something called field of view, which refers to how much of the scene you can see with the camera. When you zoom in or increase your focal length, you reduce the field of view. When you zoom out or decrease the focal length, you increase the field of view. It's important to make the distinction between zooming in and moving the camera toward your subject. When zooming or moving the camera, it may be possible to achieve a similar look for foreground objects, but the background may change dramatically. Focal length is given in millimeters, and technically speaking, it represents some measurement inside of the lens. For our purposes, it's enough to know that a 50 millimeter lens is the closest to what the human eye can perceive, and for this reason, it's called a normal lens. I am generalizing a bit because of something called crop factor, which exists on most DSLR cameras. I'll be talking more about crop factor in a future episode. A lens with a focal length much higher than 50 millimeters can be considered a telephoto lens, and a lens with a focal length below 50 millimeters can be considered a wide angle lens. Zooming in has the added effect of flattening the screen image, which can be useful for a number of effects. For example, forced perspective can give the illusion that object sizes are not as they seem. Focal length also plays an important role in depth of field, another complex topic that determines the look of a film. Zooming in can be used to create a shallow depth, where some foreground object is in focus, but the background is blurry. So that's it for this week. I hope you learned something about focal length and zooming. If you like this episode, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. I release a new video every single Monday. Please share this video on your favorite social media sites, and if you're on Twitter, you can follow 5 Minute Film School so you never miss an episode. As always, if you want to learn how to make fabulous films, you are in the right place. 5 Minute Film School. Give us five minutes, we'll make you a better filmmaker.